everyone, my name is Nikki Lubing and I am a VIP Kid Teacher and today I'm going to talk to you about how to get your student to respond to you or to answer your questions without repeating what you're saying. So, I have three ideas to share with you, and of course, um, if you have other ideas that you have used, please answer in the comments, or please share in the comments what you have used in the past. First idea, very simple, is to either use your toy microphone, or if you don't have a toy microphone, use your handy dandy marker. <laughs> this thing has worked like a charm for me, um, and just by holding it like this, using it like a microphone, sharing it with the student, the student responds. So I'll just say, hi, my name is Nikki, what's your name? Hand it over to the student, they respond. Now, obviously, if um, it's their very, very first class, they've never had a class with a online teacher before, or they've never spoken English before, this does not always work. But I would say nine times out of 10, just doing something as simple as that, um, gets a student to respond or at least to speak. Now, if they are parroting you, I have two ideas for you. So one idea that I have tried is to use my monkey or if you have a puppet or a stuffed animal that you like, um, use that. Um, but basically, you speak to the monkey, monkey speaks to you, and then you have the monkey answer to them. So here's an example. Hi, what's your name? My name is Monkey. What's your name? My name is Nikki. So they're getting the idea of what it's like to question and answer. And this is one of the ideas that VIP Kid uh, promotes. Um, another idea, because that has not always worked for me with students, I might just not be good at maybe it's the fact that I should use an actual puppet, but um, a different idea that has worked for me is to write a question on my whiteboard, show the question, cover it up, and then have um, an answer underneath and show them the answer. So even though they don't know how to read, you're still showing them that there's two pieces, that there's part A and there's part B, and they're part B, you're part A. So let me show you just a quick, quick, simple example. So I'll just put, you know, the question, how are you? And then, so I'll even put a little dash and then move this over. I'm good. So I'll say, how are you? And I'll cover. I'll say, how are you? And then I'll say, you say, I'm good. Because sometimes you still get students saying, you say, <laughs> and then they say, you say, I'm good. Um, but so hopefully by seeing this, um, even, even if they can't read English, you're still showing them, you know, how many you know, letters are there, it's not that long, um, and kind of showing I'm good, and you're pointing it out. Now, to kind of emphasize this even more with the same idea, you could actually um, draw like little stick figures, maybe even draw like a computer, like the computer screen. So you say, how are you? I'm good. All right, so those are all my ideas for teaching um, your student to respond to you without parroting you and just to get them to speak in general. And again, if you have any extra ideas that you have used that have been successful, please share them in the comments. And if you found this useful, also please let me know. All right, until next time, bye.